Next comic is one of these staff folks at Savage Henry. He's an excellent man and uh, one of my favorite local comics. So please give a warm welcome to Dutch Savage. Whoa, well, that's a nice surprise. I didn't know they were going to call me up here tonight. That's pretty cool. Uh, I guess I'll just uh, talk about some stuff I know. My friend, uh, he says he hates life. I just wish he would try cinnamon life. <laughs> That reminds me, uh, this, this morning I, I poured milk on my great-grandfather's ashes. <laughs> Reincarnation, instant breakfast. <laughs> he wasn't that great. <laughs> While we're on the subject, Jeffrey Dahmer can eat a bowl of dicks. <laughs> Really like uh, <laughs> also in the news tonight, Edward Snowden, the informer, has a licky boom boom downed. <laughs> Alright, this half of the room is doing... Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, lady. I only have a few minutes. Uh, I dream of uh, living in a perfect world, you know what I mean? Who the hell doesn't, you know? Because uh, in a perfect world, Lyme disease could be cured with tequila and a little salt. <laughs> Yesterday I bought a space heater, so when I'm an astronaut, I won't get cold. <laughs> then I, I bought a box of matches, and sure enough, they all look the same. <laughs> get it? All right. Uh, <laughs> I have a stepladder, and it sucks. It's not my biological ladder. <laughs> I'm glad that guy's here. <laughs> Why that guy drink for me? Please. I have a bootleg copy of Italy. <laughs> that one usually doesn't work that good. <laughs> Anyways. Yesterday my cat had a litter on the side of the highway and was fined a thousand dollars. If I owned a, a fancy French restaurant, the largest, most exquisite item on the menu would be called Entree the Giant. Jerk chicken pisses me off. <laughs> Fine. That was stupid, but I really like it. Uh, okay. Uh, fuck. Uh, I think it's fucking bullshit that you can buy half of a watermelon at Whole Foods. It's a fucking conspiracy, man. 7-Eleven was an inside job. Uh, uh, man, I'm really jealous of Brad Pitt. I mean, first he gets to play with Angelina Jolie's boobies, and now he can even juggle them too. Uh, uh, <laughs> she got her boobs removed. Uh, hey, check this joke out. I wrote. <laughs> I wrote this when I was five. 
True story. When I was six years old, I met a famous movie star, uh, John Holmes. <laughs> what a dick. <laughs> All right. <that's... laughs> He had a big dick. Uh, <laughs> my first girlfriend really taught me a lot. She was my eighth grade English teacher. <laughs> I'll never forget that day she said those words to me. Condoms are for pussies. <laughs> and number two pencil writes like shit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, Yesterday I ate two cheeseburgers at the zoo. I'm a hungry, hungry hypocrite. <laughs> All right. I do believe that meat is murder, but only if the dude totally knows he has AIDS going in. You don't agree? That's fucked up. Uh, if God wanted me to go to church, he would have made himself real. <laughs> Woo. I don't believe in guardian angels, but I do believe that there are dead midgets who have watched me have sex. <laughs> it's kind of the same thing. Jesus, friend or Defoe? Oh, that was dumb. I mean, that's what it's doing. I don't know. <laughs> Just when he thought Jesus could get any uglier, you know what I mean? But, uh, uh, shit. Uh, man, pro skiing has sure gone downhill. I just finished reading an e-book, and it would have been a lot more entertaining if it had any of the other letters in it. <laughs> cool. Oh, uh, shoot, I forgot what I was gonna say. I was gonna, uh, God damn, I gotta end this. I gotta think I couldn't know. Uh, whoever invented the invention sure inspired a lot of great ideas. <laughs> Last night I ate so much, my belt was like a full body cock ring. <laughs> when I finally got my belt off, I was like, <laughs> It was wild. Uh, so uh, okay, so today I was I was walking around uh, Arcata, the, the you know the plaza and all that shit over there, and I saw this guy. Like I take a lot of pictures for Savage Henry magazine and yeah, whatever, whatever. And uh, I saw this guy. I was like, hey man, can I take your picture? And he's like, yeah, sure, you know, no problem. I said, okay, smile. And he goes, no, 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 no way, man. I said, well, why not, dude? He said, well. I don't want you to see my missing teeth. I was like, dude, how in the fuck am I gonna see them if they're missing? <laughs> I don't have them, dude, you know, like... If I see them, I'll let you know, you know. I don't think they'll fit in my mouth or anything like, like that. I mean, maybe I don't understand, you know, I don't ever lose teeth. I mean, every now and then one will fall out of my mouth, but, you know, I don't, I don't lose it. I just <coughs> pick it right up and I hang it on my wall. And then when people come over, I say, oh, have you seen my plaque? <laughs> ah, all right, thanks a lot. Woo. Did we get a consensus? Is Jesus friend or the foe? I gotta go with the foe. The Last Passion was a badass movie. I fucking love that. I do believe in Jesus, though. I want you to know that. I also believe in Martin Luther King, though. I think that they both existed. We'll get Martin Luther King's book right if we write it 1,600 years later, though, after his death. Because we'll have some fucking zip files of shit that he actually did, but like in the year 1600 when they did the Bible, that was just minstrels that were telling the story. Like, no wonder they kind of had some embellishments going on. Jesus walked on the water just because it rhymed with lock up your daughter. I think that's the only reason that it had that line. <laughs> oh, 